I also told you I wouldn't be surprised if Johnny yeah. Taipei won. It wouldn't shock me at all. It would not be an upset. We will see what happens. Third place game from here in Singapore. The seventh edition of the Asia Cup. We are ready to hand out a medal. Oh. Nice pass, unselfish. Beautiful touch pass from Kulan to set up the opening score for Mongolia. Sue will miss it long range. Aryan sets egg will clear it herself. Kulan sets the screen. Aryan sets egg in the paint. Six to shoot. That one's deflected. That'll leave. Won't leave any time. A point three actually. Be point three left on the clock for Mongolia to get a shot up. So it'll be a desperation heave as they will make one substitution. Saren Kalm Muksaikan will come in. And she will do the honors of heaving it up. Oh, wow. She almost hit that shot. And to get the offensive board, Kyle. So that's why you play every single play and try your best. Calm, cool, and collected. She is as Mongolia scores the first two buckets of the game. Chan can't take it away with one stroke. Saren Calm using the screen. She can shoot that, taste the rainbow. There's some gold at the end of it. In this case, bronze, maybe, for Zip. Kulan gets caught by Patrol. Fouling on the drive. Right now, Mongolia started off perfect this game. Chinese Tepe had a wide open look with Chen, couldn't knock it down. Oh, Sue lost the handle on it. That whole possession was kind of wild. Not sure what the plan was there. That's a dangerous pass by Kulan. She throws it into traffic. She says, my bad. Lucky, lucky they, I was gonna say they didn't turn it over, but they actually did. So it'll be Chinese Taipei ball. Still looking for their first score of this bronze medal game. Sue, her pass nearly stolen. Stays with Chinese Taipei. Drive on the baseline. You will take that stuff elsewhere. Meantime, Aryan sets it, sets her sights, and it's like she's shooting with a scope out there. Knocks down the two-piece, six-zip Mongolia. And then you're turning the ball over unforced. So Chinese Tepe not seizing the moment and uh, playing a little bit scared. And if you play scared, you're going to get your butt handed to you. Aryan sets egg down low. Muksai Khan kicks it out to Indra. Indra comes up abbreviated. That one nicks the rim. And here Chinese Taipei is looking a little bit tired, I guess you could say. Certainly out of sync. Right. And sometimes in those moments, some, some teams come out flat as they maybe put too much pressure on themselves. Mongolia has been playing in big games. They played in the Olympics. They have some experience. Chinese Taipei has never medaled. Maybe that could play a factor. Oh, you see, yeah, I'm telling you, that, that's typical. Typical of a team that is afraid of the moment. We see who is ready to seize the moment through two minutes of this game. Mongolia just blazing out of the gates here. They've been able to connect from long range. Kulan has made some unselfish plays. It's Nobatar will hand it off to Indra. Indra wanted to shoot it. Now she's trying to navigate around the screen. Where's she going to go with it? Makes a decision to chunk the deuces. And that one rolls off the iron. Chin with the rebound for Chinese Taipei. They got to get some movement offensively. Too much stagnation as they turn the ball over. Saren Kong spun around, got to the rim, earns the whistle. She'll shoot one. I'm glad you mentioned the stagnation. Chinese Taipei is successful when they get the ball on the move. If they're trying to beat people out of one-on-one -on -one game, it's not going to work out. Now, this game is not meant to be played ISO. Players get tempted to do it because you got so much space on this half court. But we both know you got to let the ball do the work for you. And Mongolia are going to work like it's Monday morning. It's still Sunday, right? Still Sunday. Okay, just making sure. 7-1. As Chinese Taipei do get on the board, Kulan will miss fire. Chen finally got on the board. They're going to need Su and Chen to come up big if they want to turn things around. Good 
Good two lady action. You can't go soft though. Good Finish strong. What's going on? See what had happened was. So we got a 7 2 game, and Chin is down, holding the back of her head. And that's a little bit scary. Hopefully, she's going to be all right. Both teams step aside. Time for immediate timeout. I think a more important timeout if you're Chinese Taipei is they got to settle into this game. Still plenty of time to get things turned around. This is a 10 minute sprint to 21. We can see that uh, who started off with the faster pace. And who's missing those easy gimmies, the, the, those buckets that they've made. Kuo, Chang, Chan, they've been very efficient in the paint throughout the whole tournament. And right now, they're missing all these easy layups that could keep them in the game. Off balance shot from Sue, no ma'am. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to give credit to the Mongolian defense or if Chinese Taipei is simply too flustered to, uh, to build their game properly. So oh, there's Anobatar bucket. Sai Khan on the bench, the two Olympians on this Mongolian roster. Speaking to that experience, playing in big moments, playing for medals. Speaking of the Olympics, Mongolia will be competing in three Olympic qualifying tournaments after this, men and women. So they'll be keeping their Olympic hopes alive once again. to two as we get back to a third place game. Down to the post office. Those Chinese Taipei off the front iron. No, injury. Iso game, uh-oh, watch your ankles. Watch them ankles. Oh. She took her to school, forgot to give her a lunch bag. Nine two, you like that. Oh, inside score, Quo. Three lady action. Arian sets it. Not again, looking for a second two piece of the game. 555 left. A six point advantage for Mongolia. Pretty much what they've been maintaining from the start. Started off 6 0. And while Chinese Taipei put together a few good offensive possessions, still looking at a hole here. That'll help it if they can knock it down. Did not Chin. Wide open, could not connect. That's a great shot. You can't get mad at that. Oh no, you take that shot a hundred times out of a hundred if you got it. Just gotta make them. They right now Chinese Taipei aren't making them. Chin, turn around, soft touch off the window. Beautiful. This is who you said is gonna be the X factor for Chinese Taipei. Kulan driving, running, hook. Not that time. Suit. There you go, a little bit more movement now. Chinese Taipei so, finally settling. Oh. And there you go. There she goes in a fist pump. As Chinese Taipei have got a pulse in this one. They are back alive and well. Kulan getting busy with it. I mean, Chen is, is responsible for five of the six Chinese Taipei points, Kyle. Now if they can get a little bit from Sue. Good hustle. That's a foul. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew didn't even need to do it because it would be hard enough to track that loose ball down. So an unnecessary third foul that Mongolia pick up. And possession will go to Chinese Taipei. Chin taking it, taking it out. Did Chinese Taipei wait too long to settle in this game, Kyle? No, I don't think so. I mean, we, we just got past the midway point. It's a three-point game. And the momentum is on their side. Hustle to get the rebound. Arian Setzeg will draw a fourth foul on Chinese Taipei. That 
hand it off to Indra. Indra, H2O, Wada. If you make such blunder defensively, you'll pay the price for it. You can get only mad at yourself. No one else is responsible. Indra, probably the sharpest shooter that Mongolia has on its squad at this moment. And you're gonna allow her to come out completely naked on the perimeter. It's impossible. Well, big response for Mongolia, no doubt. Extends the lead to five, 420 and counting. Chain turns the corner through traffic, no problem. And the steal. That could be a momentum shift if they score here. Oh, that is double blocks. And not user friendly. That one is air mail over the top of the rim. And so the ball goes to Chinese Tepe. I remind you all the rule on any jump ball situation, the defense recovers possession. Uh-oh, Japanese Furuki. Hello. I mean, come on. When you see her smile, doesn't it doesn't it make you just happy? Oh, yeah. They got the smile cam going on here in the arena. We got the highlights here on our broadcast. We got a lot of a lot of things to be smiling about on this, this final day of play. It's been a, a great day of action. We've had some overtime thrillers. We've had some incredible plays. Uh, we've seen some, some really impressive comebacks. We have history being written. We got history being written, and look at this crowd. And the weather is chilling. A, a, yes, a near capacity <laughs> crowd. 11-7. Sue hands it off to Chin. That is her hot spot normally. But that was a tough shot to take because the handoff situation was well thought of. The problem is Chen was too low, so she had to jump back before taking that shot. You need crazy strength in your hips and legs for you to be able to elevate. There you go. To flow. Now Chinese Taipei is starting to get into the system, running their actions a little bit better. Mongolia is starting to make some of those blunders, although Arya Tsetseg makes good there. That one six-point lead is down to four. Chinese Taipei trying to chip away at it, one possession at a time. Nothing happening there. Loose ball. Somebody's got to come away with it. It's Chinese Taipei. Kuo from seven feet out, not a problem. Straight off the window, up and in. Kulan. Good hands. That's deflected. Kulan forces it up. Draws the whistle. She will shoot one. But now you see Mongolia trying to withstand the charge of Chinese Taipei. They were nice and comfy at the start with a 6-0 lead. Since then, it's been a 9-6 Chinese Taipei run. The problem is, if you wait too long to get going, then you get in trouble quick. Sue, see you later. Sue with the speed. Chen, she got more game than EA. Scores on the inside. Aryan Setseg, you heard that, or you like that, huh? EA Sports. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Only our generation can understand that. Of one. course. Oh, man. Two point game, Angelo. I'm just kind of thinking, unfortunately, for Chinese Taipei that they could potentially pay their lag when they started, being a little bit afraid, a little bit under pressure, uh, enabling Mongolia to just do whatever they wanted to do. And then Mongolia could have capitalized on that even more and be off an even bigger lead, but that's 3x3 for you. Oh, attacking, that is a difficult layup attempt. Credit set, Ari Tsetseg with the defensive effort. We are under three minutes to play. It is a three-point game. You certainly don't get the feel that Mongolia is in complete control anymore. Nope. Technically a one-possession game, technically. But people tend to look at a three-point game as a two-possession game. Oh, oh. see what had happened was... Whoa, just sold the clip. Andrew with a high degree of difficulty made falling away from the back basket and hooks it in. 14-10. Now Indra got caught reaching in the cookie jar. Plus, Chinese Taipei is in foul trouble, and that could play a big role 
in the last two minutes. Mongolia still has one freebie, one free foul to give. Chinese Taipei with none to give. They're sixth. That one poked away. So the reset with six seconds left on the shot clock. Make up for that last layup miss. No. She got all stuffed up. Aryan sets in. Driving with reckless abandon. Gotta go stronger. So Aryan sets in. Not sure why she reaches in. Too, how do you say? Too zealous. Yeah. No need. Just got caught up in the intensity of the game and picks up a needless foul on Mongolia. And now the next defensive foul on either one of these teams. Free throws will be coming. Chin over to Sue. Can Sue finally get one to go? Too much protein on that one. Chin. That one too strong as well. Indra. Hers off the mark. Sue. Unfazed. Let's it fly again. Both teams shooting, but. Missing like a ghost town. 15 10. Make that 16 10. Mongolia's lead back out to six, the largest of the game. Now Chinese Taipei looking at a deficit that they may not have the time to climb out of this time unless they start hitting crazy shots. That won't be one of them. 60 seconds left in our bronze medal game. Missed dribble by Kulan. Kicked over to Quo. Quo lets the two go. Nah. You just got to hold on to it, Kyle. You don't even have to shoot it. Eat the time up as much as possible. Throw up a prayer. Let the clock die out. Indra, no. With the two Olympians. And Muktai Khan and Novatar on the floor in the last 35 seconds. I expect Mongolia to make the smart plays, utilize the clock. And secure this win. Kulan. She will miss fire, but only 18 seconds remain. A two would make it more interesting. Mongolia with the bronze, Kyle. That is it. Nine seconds left. It's not officially official until the horn sounds, and it's coming in three, two, one. Mongolia have earned bronze at the seventh edition of the Asia Cup. Their first medal at this event since 2013. Congratulations to Team Mongolia, who will be on the podium after defeating Chinese Taipei in a dominant game. They started off with a 6-0 lead. They end up winning 17 to 10. A commanding effort from the Mongolians. We'll see them again in the Olympic qualifying tournaments. This is our Olympic year, headed to Paris in July. Right now, they're getting ready to head to the podium. So, an emotional Kulan and Obatar is standing by with Angelo Zagarakis. Let's hear what she has to say after an emotional win for the Mongolians. Girl, control your tears, because you're going to make me cry. I'm a sensitive guy. Control him. Control him. I'm just playing with you. I understand the emotions that you're feeling right now. Just share them with everybody. Uh, we had a medal in mind when we came here. Uh, but like having this medal for the first time for a Mongolian women's team, uh, it's a history for us. And thank you, Singapore. Thank you, Mongolians. Um, we lost so much for a long time. And just, you know, getting this metal piece of metal to prove that we improved. It's just so big for us, and thank you, Mongolians, for always supporting us. Girl, go enjoy. Congratulations.